Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a stamping up demonstrator in the UK and today I have a card for you as part of my advent series. So I have this beautiful glimmery year of cheer card and the reason for this card is it's getting towards the end of my advent series so I have hundreds of bits of paper left over that aren't big enough for a bag or a box and I was wondering what to do with them. So I've took the ends off and I have cut them all about an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, all at varying differences. And I had some glimmer paper left as well, so I've cut that up. And I'm making them into my last minute Christmas cards. You always need last minute Christmas cards because people always turn up when you're not expecting them. So what I've done today is I have got myself a fold card that is folded this way instead usually I get a piece of A4 cut it in half and create a tent fold A6 card today I've done it this way so I've used a piece of A5 paper folded it in half to make A6 and I've just took it down half an inch to make myself a panel for the top like that and that's the bit we're going to be working on. So to start off with, I'm just going to emboss this because I've heat embossed this season's greeting sentiment here, which is from the Cheers to the Year pack. So it's, it's this one just here. So I'm just going to take my embossing buddy. I'm just going to run it over. I'm running it over most of the card because I'm never very accurate with where I get my embossing powder. Blow that off. Get my verse mark out. And I'm just going to stamp that up. Position it just into the corner there. Get a piece of scrap under it. A bit of your gold embossing paste. There we go. Beautiful. I'm just going to move that out of the way so I don't knock it. And for those of you who've got your monitor on sound, if you want to just turn it down a bit, because I'm going to be using my embossing, sorry, my heating tool, just give it a few seconds off the side of the paper to warm it up. Okay. And you can see, just bring it over the top. just until it changes form and melts. Okay, I always heat it up just to the side first so it doesn't warp my paper because well, you can see from my grid paper when you do the heat embossing it just warps the paper so I'm going to now I've done that I'm just going to put my stamp set on the top of it to put it back flat. Okay next I'm going to look at these to work out what sizes I want. So I know that my top sheet is half an inch in. I want to try and feature all the different types. So if I, if I put those there, those are all the snowflake ones. Those are the firework ones. The check and the glitter. Okay. You want them all really at different heights and lengths so it doesn't look like you've strategically planned these. These are one card that you can just make together. So I'm going to, I'm just going to trim this one down slightly. I don't really want that much glitter in one bit because it's going to steal the focus away. So. trim that by hand. What I did with all of them is I just, I didn't use the punch or anything, I just cut up to create a ribbon effect look. It's ever so easy on the chevron to do this because you've got a middle point to bring it to. 
you can get an exact triangle. I'm going to do the same on that one. And that one's a little bit off center. I'm also going to make that one just a little bit shorter. Okay. I need another one of these, so I'm just going to make that one shorter as well. So they're not all the same length. don't want to make that one much shorter, I'll make it a little bit shorter. But I do need a couple of long pieces. Okay, and then this one. I do like that. I got one, two, one, two, one, oh, two of each. I think my other one only featured one bit, of, yeah, one bit on there, so I had three of the snowflakes. But you can do it either way around. So now that the bottom has just had a bit of time to, to sit, I'm just going to grab my year of cheer washi tape, and I'm using the gold one. This is great because it gets rid of the ends of your ribbon, of the ends of your paper, and the ends of the washi tape. New catalog starting in January, so there's no point in keeping hold of the retiring Christmas kits. And I'm one of these people who can't throw away. Even if there's a little bit on the reel, I won't throw it. So this is a great way of just choosing up those last bits. And unfortunately, they're retiring this set, so that's quite sad. So if you want this set, if you like any of it, it's on the website under my buy section. And you can buy it up till the end of the month, but after then, it's gone. So if you like it and you want it, get it quick. I think it's going to be one of the sets I keep. Um, I try and talk myself into when sets retire passing them on but I do keep a couple of sets that I like and this is one of those sets and I like it because it's not just Christmas it is New Year as well but it's also a great one for weddings and I seem to always have people getting married at the moment so you've got your Mr and Mrs up here and your Joy and these are just great sort of happy ones and so your story begins together they're not Christmassy really so I think this is going to be a set that I actually keep just I'm guesstimating the lengths of this I missed it must I messed up on one of them but it's not going to matter really if it's not perfect so fold that over. I messed up on this corner just here. I didn't have enough to go all the way to the end of the corner but I'm going to be putting my tassel on that corner so it really it doesn't matter. I'm just run my finger over all of those so they're straight. Okay and now we're starting on the card so how we're going to put everything together. You're the ones I'm not using. Let's not confuse me. You want your shorter ones on this end like that because that's where your sentiment is and your longer ones can go over on this end. So I'm going to try and work my way in a little bit, two snowflakes on the end. No, I'm not. I'm going to put the long one on the end. In fact, I think it's just a little a little too long. There we go. And 
a shorter one. And a longer one. They're the same size, so I don't want them next to each other. Let's just do that. Fits quite nicely without that piece in. Let's tighten those up. You're going to have room for it. Oh, it will have room in the end. There we go. So I'm just going to keep them in that order at the top so I know which way I'm going. I'm going to bring in my snail for this. She snails fine because it's DSP going onto the thin Whisper White, so you're fine using your snail for this one. If I can find it, there it is. So you just want to put your snail just at the top, just a slight bit, so that the tail of your DSP can just hang freely and then you can lift it up so it actually looks like it's free hanging. You can do this with any project. You can do this with your normal standard DSP and make a birthday card or an anniversary card or a get well card. It's just a very nifty way of getting rid of the little bits of DSP. What I'm going to do with the glimmer paper is I am just going to cheat and I'm going to put a glue dot on. Glimmer paper and snail are not the best of friends I found. And I found that the glue dot is the best way of sticking the glimmer paper to the card. It has the same effect. You can use glue dots on the whole thing. It's just, I don't want to. Oh, I've done it again. And I have. Sheet. Use these adhesive sheets, these silicon sheets for your adhesive. They are so handy and they stop you doing what I've just done. And then getting really frustrated that you did it. Okay. One, they are New Year's resolution for 2017. I am going to use my silicon map. If you see a video where I'm not using it, shout at me. There we go. And I'm just going to use another glue dot here for that one and put that down. Okay, I'm going to use a couple of, oh help me out, dimensionals. I know what they're called, just to pop it up because it's white on white, so just to give it a little bit of a, a pop out effect. And I'm just going to put that onto the card so it just pops out slightly. I'm going to come in now with my sequin trim and I'm going to cut this really short but what I'm going to do I learned this trick on stage one of the on stage demonstrators did it and I liked it I'm going to come under the sequin with my snips so I'm just cutting the seam and that will leave me with a little sequin okay you can then just feed the sequins from the end of the trim Right, that is another one. So I'm just going to cut three little strips, and from each strip, I'm just going to take the sequin from the top and the bottom of the stream. So there's three. But this is much better than cutting them in half because you can use these now. Um, which end did I not take them off? I didn't take that one off. That end there. So take that 
half an hour. Okay, so you then have a few of these little sequins which we're just going to use to decorate the bottom of the card. I'm going to do a glue dot on the top corner. And I'm just going to pop these onto the corner at different angles. The fuzziness that's now at the end, so that little bit of sort of seam where you've took the sequins off, will stick all over that glue dot so that you don't have a little bit left that's still sticky because sometimes it's horrible when you get a little bit of stick by the glue dot, but that's not sticky at all. And then you just want your fine tip glue pen. You just want to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little dots. Now, why I'm doing it, I'm just going to point out something to you. We have a snow embossing folder at Stamping Up that you can use. But if you don't have the snow embossing folder and you want to just make some snow indents on a piece of Whisper White, look at that. You can do it with your fine tip glue pen. Tip of the day. So now I'm just going to come in. And I, this is the bit I really hate. I'm never very good with placing sequins. Never very good at it. But you just want to scoop them up, place them on top of the glue. And the good thing about this trick is the fact that the fine tip glue doesn't dry instantly. It takes a bit of time to dry. So I could have gone all the way along the bottom of this card, putting the dots, and when I come back with the sequins, they would still be... <laughs> the dog has sat behind me and he's fell asleep. Can you hear him snoring? <laughs> Can you hear him? He's so loud. Oh, bless him. He's waiting for his walk. I said we couldn't do the walk because it's getting so dark now. I don't know whether you've noticed. If I don't film straight away, I've lost the light by the time we come back from his walk. But there we go. There's my last minute Christmas cards made with the little bits of paper that I have left from my DSP. Enjoy and thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.